Welcome to Allies and Enemies. We're a board game couple that mostly plays two-player everything. This time, we're talking about Everdale. It's an adorable village building game set in the cutest woodlands that you have ever seen. It is largely a worker placement game as players take turns placing their workers, which come in hedgehog, turtle, squirrel, and a kind of hybrid mouse slash rabbit. They use them to grab resources, claim events, or take special force actions that change each game. But it is also a card tableau and engine game, as all the aforementioned goods are used to buy buildings from your hand or the meadow and add them to your village, often to be later inhabited by various woodland creatures with college level occupations. The game is broken into four seasons, each of which add more workers and give players resources from their built cards, except for summer, when the weather is much too nice for working. The whole thing makes for a calm, slow building game that tends to take about 40 minutes and leaves you with a cool little forest town, win or lose. Everdale is straight up gorgeous. This is one of those games that makes people stop at the table and take notice. The berries are soft and bouncy, the rocks are smooth and hard, the amber is a nice plastic, and the trees are, of course, made out of trees. Andrew Bosley's artwork is amazing across the board, and in fact, on the board, as well as, of course, the cards. And the big centerpiece tree gives the whole thing a three-dimensional feel that kind of drops you into the game. All of the bits are well thought out, the little doors that show the cards are occupied, and the pleasing roundness of the board that also makes it connectable for expansions, plus there's even a simple but handy insert. Everdell is a medium to light game. The rule book, like the rest of it, is oh so pretty, with tons of nice touches like drawings and letters to and from animals, and little poems or songs, but more importantly it is easy to understand, which is in part because the game is so well designed. Put your animals out to get stuff, use the stuff to buy cards. Use the cards to gain other stuff. It all flows like a slow brook through a lively forest. It's a step up from gateway games, but an experienced gamer should be able to explain the ins and the outs to a newbie in 10 minutes at most. The game itself has a really nice ramp up with the first round only having two workers, which consequently means you won't build much, but that gives new players a chance to slowly ease into the game, so they generally have it figured out by the time autumn construction boom rolls around. Everdale feels as though it's made for two players. It's the only way we've played it, and there's no sense at all that something is missing. At higher player counts, there will be a bit more of a rush for certain spaces, but many spaces are shared anyway, and more options are added at higher player counts. It's not a game that breeds a lot of analysis paralysis, so turn time shouldn't be an issue regardless of player count, but with two players, it moves well, other than the occasional turn when your opponent takes the mine you've been saving up for for the last three turns. Speaking of which, there isn't that much take that in this game at all, with the primary interaction being the single worker spaces or buying cards that it turns out your opponent was eyeing up. There is one sneaky negative point fool card that can be placed in your opponent's town, but even he can be thrown into prison presumably for foolishness. With card engines or worker placements, there can be ideal spaces or superstar cards. I'm looking at you, Matchy Coro Tuna Boat, but Everdell avoids this. We have played likely close to 50 games, and other than occasionally strong forest spaces, we have yet to find a go-to strategy. And speaking of the forest spaces and events, both of these are nicely randomized from their own decent sized deck for each game, making for some really nice variability. That said, by its nature, Everdell is always going to play roughly the same. Visit spaces, get goods, buy cards, but the path you take is always different, and the system is fun in itself, with great moments of having just the villager you need pop up, or creating the perfect engine to supply you with a lifetime supply of berries. And there is a nice feeling of success in finishing your village, whether you win or lose, that keeps you coming back. 
This is one of the key games that sent us from casual players of Seven Wonders to wondering where we can fit another shelving unit. It has that it factor that makes you want to like it, coupled with a clever design that makes it easy to keep coming back. We highly recommend this for newish gamers or for those who are just starting to get into a bigger collection, or even hardcores who are looking for something a little bit less stressful but still rewarding. And that is it. Please share your thoughts with us. Do you like this game? Do you have other suggestions for people that do like it? If you don't like it, what game do you like better? Either way, we hope you will all come back for another game.